happy today because I believe and I knew that if that we have this gathering, it will be the final gathering for people from outside to come to Plateau State. And out of these deliberations, we realize that the peace of Plateau also lies with Plateau people. These ones, we all came in for them to share their experiences and to console us and to tell us that if we go by the tenets of Christianity and the tenets of Islam, the peace can be found here on the planet. My duty is to say what of I don't know how to thank you. Because the other time it came, somebody asked. He said, why is it that when it happens in Plateau, people run to Plateau? They have forgotten that when it happens to other places too, I run to those places. If you run to people, they will run to you. And like you see, all of them will be running together. There's none of the governors here that have not been running everywhere. We hear there is insecurity in any state. We run to them. So if it happens to us, I will not expect less of it. They've run to this place. The two co-chair are our parents. I say they are my advisors. When I am difficulty too, I call them. And when they were in when it was happening in Plateau, they also called me. They said, can you come with all your challenge? I said, I will come. I went to Abuja and I told them, I said, you need to come to Joss. Come and tell us the final advice and you leave. Otherwise, with what they have said today, if somebody is saying a different thing from what these people say, you are not a good Plateau man. I will say that. I even made a decree here that religious leaders should be very watchful of what they preach outside. And I said I will go and start arresting people. I deliberately left it. But today we've heard from the pinnacle. They have told us how to live together. So I wake up on Sunday and I see, uh, on a, or on Friday, and I see hate speech. I promise you I will go after them. Because that is not the tenet of Christianity or that is not the tenet of Islam. You are inciting people to go and cause Christ. That's not what we learned today. And if these are the heads of our denominations, then we must be loyal to them. The governors spoke here very well. All of them gave experiences. This is Nigeria. And His Excellency, ably represented by the Secretary of the Government, has taken all our requests and demands. I will continue to follow you for the implementation of some of them. Some of these things are beyond the state. When we say we locate IDPs, it is enormous. I doubt if there's any state that has capacity to relocate IDPs because you will start from the time there was crisis in your state. Some of them are even more than 20 years now. 20 years. But as we do that, we pray to God to give us the resources so that we can handle some of them. Some are federal government. Of course, even if they are federal government, <laughs> even America, as we see them, America is also crying and looking for money. They go and look for, but they are borrow money too. People don't believe that they borrow money. They borrow money. So the challenges are enormous. But we pray God to give you the challenge to the the resources so that we can summon some of the challenges that were raised in respect to federal government. The ones for the state, we have listened, we will do our best. But I keep on saying that when you give me peace, I will give you development and infrastructure. But when it is crisis, crisis, it means the resources will channel the channel towards addressing insecurity. That to me will be a waste. Because it is peace that you have infrastructure. So I thank you very much, Your Excellencies, for coming. I thank you, uh, the SGF, for coming. You are also very instrumental because I know you, you love Plato more than uh, Adamawa. He loves Plato more than Adamawa. We started this with him. We started it with him almost three, four years in consolidating, especially our Christian brothers. There was nothing we didn't do with him. 
So when you hear some people saying outside, those are people that have never even attended our meeting. Some of those clerics, they are those that have never for once attended our meeting. We started with him. We started gathering Christians, started gathering religious leaders from Abuja, from Jos, from everywhere. Some people don't attend. So when there are crises, that is when they do best. That is when they shine by inciting people. Well, God will fish them out for the, for the, the our distinguished senator. And uh, the co-chair, please don't be tired. We will still be coming. The, uh, distinguished Senator, thank you very much. He came back today, uh, yesterday, outside. Yes, His Majesty, we thank you very much with your traditional rulers. And I've been saying it, I said, for long, is because we stayed away from, yes, we admit, for those of us <laughs> governors, that we kept traditional rulers away. So they are telling us that if we accommodate them, they will also be involved in bringing peace. So if we keep them aside, but we will not keep them aside, we are doing our best. For our dear religious leaders, the ones that are here, I thank you very much for coming at a very short time. Thank you for your contributions, and especially your prayers for Plateau State. We have been praying with them. We have made it a duty that for the Christians, every end of the month, we fast and we pray. So if we realize that God is, our prayers are not going enough, let us intensify our prayers. Let us continue to fast again and intensify our prayers so that God will answer our prayers and bring peace to Plateau State. The rest of the society and even the press. Yes, you know why we kept some of you out. Because not that we don't like you, but we want you to report especially what will bring peace, not what will bring disaster or bring conflict. I also thank you for coming. Above all, we thank God for giving us this opportunity. We shouldn't thank God last, but for God to allow us to even sit down and finish peacefully, we go back to him on our knees and we thank him. So that this time if we are coming back, we will be coming to discuss peace. We will not be discussing crisis again in Plateau State. Not only in Plateau State and in all other parts of Nigeria. Because the other time I had my brother, Sokoto closed the road everywhere. I, he sent me the order quickly. I said, I don't know which road to close. Because here yeah, is transit. If I close Bauchi Road, I don't know where they will go. If I close Adamawa, we will not be able to pass through this place. But I also sympathize with all of you. And the one in Nanja were always there. They will kidnap today, tomorrow kidnap. And I will imagine whether governors sleep. They don't sleep. But our prayer is that God will restore peace to Nigeria. God will fish out perpetrators of this trouble. God will fish out the criminals among within us. And once we prosecute them, we'll have peace in this country. We thank you for listening. And as you prepare to leave back to your various places, Secretary Narek, thank you very much to Reverend Father. <laughs> thank you and all other members of Narek. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless Plateau State. Thank you very much. <laughs>